Hey, fellow babies, welcome back to Factor Factor on Sifted.net. As a Patreon patron, you're watching it real time. And as an Amazon Prime member who's smart enough to follow the instructions below and link your Prime account to your Twitch Prime account, you're getting it at the same time as our patrons. So thank you very much. Our question of the day comes from YouTube from Philip Rohrhuber. What do you think is going to be the most important battleground to win in the gaming space over the next few years? VR, cloud gaming, pure power and speed, exclusive, something else. Stay safe, back. Thank you, Philip. Um, obviously, it depends on who is battling. Uh, I personally think the biggest, the most important battle is cloud. And that battle is not going to be fought among the publishers. That battle is going to be fought among the cloud providers. So Amazon and Google are going to slug it out. Microsoft has a lot to lose, so they're going to slug it out. Sony has more to lose, they're going to slug it out. So those are the players. Apple might choose to insert itself in the process, but the big players, Amazon, uh, Microsoft, Google, the three biggest cloud providers are going to beat the crap out of each other trying to sell you games. And so that matters because it expands the market dramatically. And I think the way you should think about it is back when your grandparents were, were watching movies, they were watching them in movie theaters and there was no other way to see them. Today, you have movie theaters, you have commercial broadcast television, you have specialty channels like TNT, you know, TCM, Turner, Turner Classic Movies. You have pay subscriptions like HBO. You have VHS and DVDs, now DVDs mostly, that you can buy or rent. You have pay-per-view video on demand, so you can rent a movie digitally. And then you have streaming video on demand. So you have seven different ways to see a movie that's not in the theater. That is what cloud gaming is gonna do to games. You are gonna get the opportunity to watch a game, I watch a game, play a game on any device at any time and it's going to stream from the cloud and you don't need a console. That means, just like in the movie business, theatrical revenues tripled when we added those seven windows. For real. Not inflation adjusted. I mean, I'm sorry, not, not grown by inflation. The actual box office, whatever it was back then for a, per film, it's 3x that now, you know, adjusted, f fully adjusted for inflation because you have seven different ways to sell people that movie. That's going to happen to games. It's going to double at least, maybe triple. And so that battle really matters because if you sell, instead of 25 million copies of Call of Duty, 50 million copies of Call of Duty, that game is so much more profitable to Activision, they will put more resources into making that game even better, and everybody wins. That's what you got to have. So I think that's the biggest battle, and I think Amazon wins because Amazon wins every, th every business it tries to win. Um, but... Uh, Google's no slouch. Microsoft certainly is not going to roll over. So it's good to have competition among well-capitalized, smart companies with the you know with deep pockets who can spend a lot of money to win your business. VR not as big a deal. Um, I don't know. If there's enough money there for anybody in gaming to spend much more money. And Facebook is dominant. They're going to stay dominant. Uh, pure power and speed, I don't think that battle, that's a distinction that nobody cares about and doesn't understand. Exclusives is the reason you buy one console or the other, and you, you know the companies have different approaches. Sony bought Insomniac, and they spent a lot of money on it because they wanted a AAA developer. Microsoft bought Double Fine, you know, who are great, but not the same, you know, same tier as Insomniac. So Microsoft bought seven or eight or nine smaller studios because they're going for quantity. Sony bought fewer and is going for quality and I, both approaches are going to work. Um, so honestly, I think the only real war that you should care about as consumer is cloud because that's going to bring in a lot more people into the ecosystem, which means more money to pay talent, which ultimately probably means better games and better games is good for everybody. So hope that's responsive. I am staying safe. Uh, I hope by the time you're seeing this, we're past the peak and coronavirus is on the decline. But whatever you do, don't shake hands. Stay six feet away. Stay at home. Wash your hands as often as you can. Use hand sanitizer. Wipe everything down to your home and don't get sick because we need you to watch Factor Factor on Sifted.net. Thank you very much. You guys stay safe. Thank you, fellow babies, for watching the Pactor Factor. But if you're watching on YouTube, what the hell is wrong with you? 
You can either be a sifted patron on Patreon for two bucks a month, or you can link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account, which is really easy. And let's be real, if you have YouTube, you have an Amazon Prime account. So follow the instructions below and link it. Either way, we're gonna get two bucks. One's gonna cost you, one's gonna cost Twitch. Either way, you get the content real time when it's released daily.